How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're going to be trying to pull off Sliverwing in a Smogon underused battle. Here's the team we're using. Feel free to give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Friendly reminder to subscribe to the channel for more competitive Pokemon content. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the battle. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Sol. So they're going to lead off with the Gengar as we lead off with our Ogre Pond. So not the best matchup, not the worst either. And we are at a speed tie, so that's, that's good to know. But just before we get started, let's have a look at the team preview real quick. We have got some notable Pokemon on their team. The Metagross is a big threat. Gengar's a big threat. Skeledurge, big threat. And then they have a Cryogonal, which is really interesting. I'm curious to see what that thing does because I know it is quite fast. Really good special defense as well. But uh, anyway, going on with the battle... Um, looking at this uh, matchup, I'm going to have to switch out. Um, pretty much going to have to go into my Empoleon, I think. Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. My Empoleon can come in. It can sponge any hit this thing wants to throw at us. If they do trick us a choice card for a choice spec, it's not the worst end of the world. Um, whereas if they tricked my Probo Pass, it'd be more crippled. So let's see how this plays out. They go for an Icy Wind. <gasps> Ooh, that's going to activate our competitive. That's amazing, actually. So we are slower. We do get a boost in our special attack harshly. So we are in a very good position right now because looking at the team, nothing really wants to take a Surf, a plus two Surf. So let's go for said plus two Surf. They go for a Toxic Spikes. They're like, okay, they probably realize they have no switch-ins other than Umbreon. Um, so they're going to get the Toxic Spikes up. They may be Focus Sash as well. It's always useful to know. So it looks like more of a support Gengar um, as they are Focus Sash, which is really good to know. Very good to know. So what I'm going to do is, because I don't want to get curse bodied, I'm going to finish this thing off with an Ice Beam. I think that's the way to go. They go... Destiny Bond. They Destiny Bonded. They Destiny Bonded. So Empoleon's going to dab into an Ice Beam real quick, and then it's going to go down to the Destiny Bond. So the Gengar did good there. Got a layer of Toxic Spikes up before it took us down. So the pretty awesome set, I will say. Very awesome set from the uh, from Sol there. Um, so... With our Empoleon out of the way, oh, we've got nothing really to stop that Skeledurge. Well, we do have the Probo Pass with Power Gem, and if they Terra Fairy, Flash Cannon. Um, so what am I going to go into here? So we outspeed the entire team with Ogre Pond, but I can't rely on it too much. I think I will go into Ogre Pond because we have the Heavy Duty Boots for a start. They go into Hippowdon. Nice and shiny, got to love it. We go into our Majority Ogre Pond. And like I said, we've got Heavy Duty Boots, so we don't have to worry about the, power, um, the Poison right now. Um, we can just bop this thing on the head with an Ivy Cudgel, though, if we really want to. Uh, which is not what... I, I think I will go for the Ivy Cudgel play. There they go. They stay in. So we go for an Ivy Cudgel. It was a clean 50% to the hip out on. And then they can go whatever move they want to go for on us. A red card. Hmm. That's going to force us out into something we can't control. And we're going to get dragged out into Probo Pass. So that's not too bad. We have the Air Balloon, um, which is great. We get the Special Defense boost as well from the Sand. Um, so they go for a Stealth Rock. So Stealth Rock is fair enough. Stealth Rock is very fair enough. Um, I love the texture on Probo Pass, by the way. It looks so cool. So we could sell our own Stealth Rocks. They'd be pretty useful for the Skeledurge and the Cryogonal, but they probably have Heavy Duty Boots on one of those. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. I think I want to go for a Flash Cannon here. I think that's the best thing to go for. So I'm going to go for a Flash Cannon. And they go for a Slack Off. They actually outspeed us. So that's interesting that Hippowdon outspeeds Probo Pass. Um, I guess it's just a lot slower than I thought it was. So we go for a flash cannon. Let's see how much it does. Nothing. So we're going to have to switch out. We're definitely going to have to switch out here. Um, we have Pokemon that can handle this, I think. Eh. I'd say Donphan. We can Rapid Spin. That's probably the best bet we've got. I wish I had Ice Beam on the uh, Latios now, but we don't. Flash cannon didn't do too much damage. They can't touch us. Let's go for another Flash Cannon and just see if, what they can actually do to us. So we Flash Cannon away. We'll see if we get a Special Defense drop. That'd be nice. They go for a Whirlwind. So that's their only move. So they have Whirlwind, Stealth Rocks, Slack Off, and then probably Earthquake. So we know our Probo Pass walls them to ever, to ever loving Christ. Um, but what are we going to get Whirlwinded out into? Hopefully Latios. Latios? I called it! I called it! Anyway. <laughs> get excited over that. Um, we're going to get buffed by the Sandstorm. We have weakened it considerably. Thanks to the Flash Cannons, we can just go for a Luster Purge now, but they probably go into the uh, Umbreon, so I am going to drop a Draco instead. And Metagross is also an option for them, but I think we can handle Metagross as well. They do withdraw the Hip Out on, which is a respectable play. They could go into Umbreon or they can go into Metagross. They go into Umbreon the Recluse. That's better for me. It means Draco Meteor is going to do a bit more damage. 
um, as we do drop a Draco. We don't miss, which is great. And uh, that's going to do a clean 50%, which is great. So Umbreon taking 50% from the Draco is great. They are going to have to go for a healing move, whether they have Moonlight or um, Wish. I think if they're on a Sand team, they won't have Moonlight. They'll probably have Wish. Uh, Wish seems to be better on uh, well weather teams in general, unless it's a Sunny Day team. Um, so we'll go for a flip turn. We'll get on out of there. We'll reveal we're not choiced while we're at it. Um, does no damage, but we do get a bit of chip. And chip is always nice. Chip is always nice. This Umbreon is going to be hard to break. So let's go into our sliver one. No, let's go into Donphan. I think Donphan's the best one to go into because we can rapid spin away. And we can also predict the Skeletage coming in and go for an Earthquake. So that's, there's, there's pluses and minuses to it both. So um, Stone Eggs, St Stealth Frog's going to dig in. They go for a Wish, which is fair enough, which is fair enough. And what I'm going to do is, because they probably go for a Protect here, right? They probably Protect. So we should go for a Stealth Rocks, um, not Stealth Rocks. And we should still go for a Rapid Spin or a Switch Out. <laughs> I'm going to go for the Rapid Spin anyway. I feel like they stay in so they can get the Wish. They do withdraw, so they're going to save the... Wish for later, for a later mon. They go into Skeletage. So Skeletage is a fine switch there. Completely blocks our Rapid Spin. There we go. Should have gone for an Earthquake, really. But I, w I didn't want to go for a Protect and Scout. And see that we made that prediction. So, what do we do here? I I I'm leaning towards... I'm leaning towards... Um, a switch into Probo Pass. I'm also leaning towards an Earthquake. Because they go for a Hex here, right? So we go for an Earthquake. I think we go for an Earthquake. I think we can safely go for an Earthquake because they go for a Torch. Song isn't going to KO us. It's going to nearly do a good do a good job of um, damaging us. And then we go for an EQ. And that does over half. That does over half. That's great. That's good damage. That's good damage. So they have to go for a Slack Off here. The Weakness Policy. You just see the life drop from my face, right? <laughs> it's like, what? Weenus policy on the Skeleturge? Uh, okay. That's not um, terrifying at all. So what do we do here? Do we go for another EQ or do we switch out? I haven't got anything to switch into. I'm going to have to just go for an EQ. And just hope for the best. They go for a Torch Song. Going to get another special attack boost. And that's going to be the game for Donphan, I'm afraid. So Donphan does go down. Oh, dear me. Um, right, so what do we do in this situation? I would say potentially going into Probo Pass for the Power Gem. Um, we could drop a Draco on it or a Luster Purge. Sliverwing's probably the best one because Protosynthesis isn't bypass, isn't ignored by unaware. So we can go for an EQ. I think that is the best way to go this. I think that's the best way to do this. So we're going to sliver us real quick. Who is going to take some stealth rock damage and some toxic spike damage? But I haven't used sliver wing in so long, and it's such a cool Pokemon. Like, look at the back of this thing. It's a monster. Absolute monster of a Pokemon. So we're going to get that Power Simpsons in, in attack. We are max speed. So we do outspeed the Skeleturge in this instance. And we should be alright to go straight for a EQ. So that's exactly what I'm going to go for here. Hopefully they don't outspeed. Hopefully they're not max speed and outspeed us. I don't think they are though, by the way, they took that EQ. Yeah, they're no, they're not, they're not. They're either max speed and no outspeed or we just get the KO. So Skeledurge goes down. I think it was like plus four attack. That was terrifying. So Skeledurge goes down, which is great. Um we still have our Protosynthesis in attack. We can definitely do some damage to the rest of that team. Umbreon does not want to come in. Megros is gonna appreciate a leech life. Um That's about it really. Umbreon comes in though. Interestingly enough, they may be thinking banded, but well, I'm going to go for a leech life. Um, if they terrestrialize, which they haven't, they're going for a detect. Um, they're going to protect themselves with detect. We go for the leech life, obviously it fails. So how can we go around this? So I'm leaning towards just going for another leech life. There's no reason not to, right? It hits everything on our team and we get health back. So I don't see any reason not to. I'm thinking they were guess that I'm guessing they were expecting their wish to come back for them. It hasn't. So let's go for a leech life again. And um, they do withdraw the Umbreon. What they're gonna go into is take a Protosynthesis, a boost as an attack, leech life. They're gonna go into whatever that is, the worn out, which is the Metagross. So nice and shiny as well, that's pretty awesome. We go for a leech life. Does a clean 45%. Which is great. But it's not good enough. So they're probably going to expect an EQ right now on Terra. 
I'm going to Terra Bug Leech Life. I think that's the way to go. So they do withdraw. They're expecting us to switch out, maybe? I wasn't going to switch out. Iron Bundle. What's that? Iron Bundle. That's the Cryogonal. So Cryogonal comes in. We're going to go for a Trastalization into a Bug type, which is going to be great. Like so. Boom. Got a nice little uh, Bug Terra hat on our head. Looking amazing with them antennas. The Sliverwing is looking really powerful right now. Sliverwing is doing really well here. So let's go for a Leech Life. Leech Life is going to come through and cleanly take out that Cryogonal. Cleanly take out that Cryogonal. No problems there. So that is great. That is really good. So Cryogonal down and out. Didn't get to do anything this game, I'm afraid. Um, we have Umbreon left who's weak to us. We have Metagross who's weak to us with the Earthquake. And we've got Hippowdon which is bulky. And it could definitely take a hit, but it can't do anything in return other than Earthquake. In comes the Hippo. Gonna get that Sand Stream going, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm guessing that's what it's doing here. Probably wants the Whirlwinders out, which is fair enough. We go for a Leech Life or a Close Combat. I'm, I'm leaning towards Close Combat. I think Close Combat does more damage, even with the Terrestrialization and Bug. No, it doesn't actually. I think Leech Life does more. I think Leech Life does more damage. So let's, let's, let's Terror Bug Leech Life. Just misses the KO. Just misses the KO. Which means if they whirlwind us now, which they probably will. Yeah, they have whirlwinded us. They've whirlwinded us. So, we're now in a bit of a pickle. Because now, what can we do here? So, they're going to whirlwind into Ogre Pond. So, that's not a bad, that's not a bad one. Ogre Pond is a really good Pokemon to use here. And um, we are going to get buffed by the Sandstorm, of course. And uh, now, we just go for a knockoff, just in case they switch into Megros. We want to knock off that item if we can, and it'll also finish off the hip out on. They're going to switch out. Are they going to go Umbreon, or are they going to go Metagross? That's the Metagross, right? Yeah, Metagross comes in in a Beast Ball as well. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We go for a knockoff. Nearly gets the KO, which is amazing. Knocks off their Assault Vest, which is good to note. We're going to get buffed by the Sandstorm a little bit, but I think Ogre Pong can probably finish things off here. But I am going to go for that U-turn. Oh, they go for a BP. It doesn't do nearly enough damage. We go for a U-turn. And that's going to get Megros all done and dusted and out of there. Which is great. Absolutely fantastic. So we're going to withdraw. I really want Sliverwing to pull this off. I really want to pull Sliverwing off. And the, the fact that Sliverwing's done as much as it has done is amazing. So we're going to go into Sliverwing. Sliverwing. Like so. And we do get the point stones, which is unfortunate because we're our pure bug type right now. And the sandstorm and the poison. But you know what? I think I think we can do this with Sliverwing. In comes Umbreon the Recluse. Which is always great. Umbreon's a really bulky Pokemon. They haven't terrored yet. We leech life. They could terror. They do they go for a detect. Just to whittle us down a bit more. Which makes sense. They want to get their leftovers recovery for a start. And also. We don't have a Protosynthesis boost and attack. And also, there's the Sandstorm and the Poison to deal with. Um, which takes us down to just below 50%, which is unfortunate. Here's the Umbreon as well. But it's fine. They're going to Terrestrialize now. So what type are they going into? If they're going to go for a Foul Play, which I'm assuming they will after Terra Ghosting. That's a good, good Terra that is for an Umbreon, Terra Ghost. Ghost type evolution confirmed. Yeah. We go for a Leech Life, which is better than Close Combat, because Close Combat wouldn't do anything. Does no damage either, which is unfortunate. So Sliverwing isn't going to do this. Sliverwing did really good this game, but it's not unfortunately going to win us the game, as Foul Play cleanly takes us out. So that's unfortunate. But well, Sliverwing did all right, I'd say. We managed to force the Terrestrialization on the Umbreon, though, which makes it easier to take out by something else, as the Sandstorm does subside, and the leftovers are going to pop. I think Ogre Pond can probably do this now. Um, we're going to Ogre Pond real quick. We don't have to worry about Hazard Zero. We go for a knockoff, right? They go for a Detect to get some leftovers recovery. We go for a knockoff. We 100% go for a knockoff. They withdraw the Umbreon to get the Sandstorm back up, which makes a lot of sense. As they bring in the Hippowdon now. Hippowdon is going to go down to a knockoff, I'm afraid. But it does get the Sand up, which is going to buff it away at our Ogre Pond. So knockoff comes through. Down goes the Hippowdon. And this Umbreon that they've got here could pull this back for them. It really could pull this back for them. If Ogre Pond fails here, Latios cannot touch that thing, and neither can um, Probopath. Probopath definitely can't touch that thing. So 
So Umbria comes in. We go straight for a knockoff. They still have an item, so there's no reason not to. Cleanly takes out the Umbreon, and that is going to be the game. So GG Sol, that was a really fun one. I'm glad Slivwing put in the work that it did. Ogapon as well. Really awesome game. Thank you very much for the battle.